Alright, this is going to be the first video of actually moving around in the operating system, learning all of its intricacies and, and things of that nature. So the first thing we'll do, I think, because I think it's the most simple, th uh, simple thing to learn uh, in the Windows operating system, for security at least, since that's what these are mostly going to try to be about, uh, is the user accounts. Now, to manage your user accounts, uh, you want to go to Control Panel and you can see here that there's user accounts and family safety now on the basic windows operating systems this is kind of you know how most people will do it uh, you know it, it's very simple you can see everything's highlighted easily uh, and you can see up here this view normally it's set to category and it's very broken down and very simple for people who might not necessarily know what they're doing but what I want to do always first thing right away I want to see every single option I want to have everything available to me so I'm going to select large or small icons it really doesn't matter uh, I'll select large icons just so you can see a bit better now these are all of the options that we have to mess around with sorted alphabetically and as you can see we still have our user accounts options so what we can do here is we can actually come to our uh, our user accounts and we can say alright manage another account now here's our entire list of user accounts right here currently right now we only have the user who's our administrator and the guest and it says guest account is turned off we'll get into that in a second so what we want to do uh, to create a new user account is uh, sorry I didn't really point that out is say create a new account so we'll create a new account and we'll name the account administrator and we'll select it to be a member of the administrators group and we'll hit create account but we see that the specified account name is not valid because another account already has that name which is a little interesting because a few seconds ago you might remember we only had two user accounts the user and the guest so we'll learn why this is not working in a few minutes but we'll have to type a different name so alright we'll use anything really it doesn't matter uh, I'll just use my name Nick so I'll leave myself as an administrator but if I wanted to if this user account was for someone who was just a standard user say in a business scenario where you just had an employee you wouldn't want them to, necessar to necessarily have control over the entire system you might want to select standard user so uh, know the different know the difference between the two and know when you should be using either or and who needs the required permission all those things so now we have three accounts here and if we want to we can click on the actual account we can say change the name change the picture change the password set the parental controls delete the account tons of stuff we'll go back to manage another account and we'll select this account that I just created and we're going to want to create a password because you don't want people getting into your system uh, obviously just by clicking on the user account it should always be password protected for maximum security now anything really doesn't anything will work for right now so I'll just use the most common password ever which is password and I'm replacing uh, some of the letters with a few characters so there we go we have our account and now it's password protected now we'll go back to manage another account and we can see the guest account and it says if you turn on the guest account people who don't have an account can use the guest account to log on to the computer password protected files folders or settings are not accessible to guest users so let's say turn on now if we wanted to we could have this guest account on and like it said somebody who you know this isn't their computer can come and get access some people do it because it's a quick and easy option but it's really not the most secure option you don't want somebody just coming and sitting down in front of the computer and uh, you know having access to all sorts of information that you might be storing on there so if we wanted we could go and turn this count off again but up until now we've been messing around in the control panel manage user accounts when really we shouldn't be doing that there is a much more effective and an easier way when it really comes down to it to have full control over your user accounts and the way to get to that is through the computer management option so if you come to your computer here you can right click and manage 
now it opens up this window the computer management there's tons of stuff here but for right now we're just getting into user accounts so we'll come down to local users and groups we'll say users and we can see the different user accounts that, that we have so I'm just gonna expand this a little bit now as we can see first things first the administrator the administrator is the default account on every Windows computer there's always an account named administrator except it's just disabled in this instance so it was hidden on that other screen and the guest which was also on that which was also on that screen was set to disabled so we'll come here we'll go to sorry I'll do that again right click on the guest and you can hit properties and you can come down to account is disabled these other options we'll learn in a second but for right now we do not want the guest open on our computer and we never ever do do not have the guest open always make sure it is disabled so uh, yeah and then we'll have our other account here or the you know Nick account that I just created and the user account so let's look at the properties on our user account uh, let's set it so that uh, our full name is user McBeans uh, just so you can get an idea of you know what that does and you can set the account description to this is user McBeans he is the toughest guy around oops alright so We'll set that, and now you can see our account description here. Is this user? Is user? Or this is user McBeans. He's the toughest guy around. And you should note the description on the guest and the administrator account. Uh, they're both the built-in accounts. One's for administrating the computer slash domain, and the other one is for guest access to the computer and domain. So let's just look at the properties of our administrator. It says password never expires and account is disabled. If we want to enable that account, we just uncheck and you hit OK and you see that that arrow that was once there meant that that account was disabled but now that the arrow is gone it means the account is enabled and people can use it so it is of course a member of the administrators group and profile we won't touch right now uh, Yeah, password never expires oftentimes administrators will have this option because you do not uh, want to have an administrator account uh, or rather you want the administrator account to be static you want to know that when you're entering the password it's going to be the correct password and oftentimes the administrator passwords are very long and and secure so that you know, to avoid those sorts of things so you could leave this unchecked uh, or you could leave it checked I think that you should leave it unchecked uh, if you're participating in any cybersecurity competition which is sort of what I'm making these about oftentimes they might try to score these types of things so you should say password never expires on a pretty much pretty much all of the accounts although I'll say with the exception of the guest you might want to say password never expires you might want to leave that checked because if somebody were to log into the guest account uh, when the password expires uh, the person tries to log into the account and a message pops up saying your password's expired you need to change it so they have to enter their current password and then they have to enter a new password so if somebody wanted to they uh, you know they could log into the guest account and then change the password so that only they know it after that password's expired so now only they would have access to that account you don't want that for the guest account you want to know that there's a single password for that account and that is not being used. But I mean, we're talking about the guest account, so it should be disabled anyways. Hope you understood what I mean. A little confusing there. And that's sort of the same reason for the actual administrator account. Password never expires, because you don't want someone changing it. You want to make sure that you know these sorts of things. Now, that's pretty much it for users. Uh, if you want to, you can always hit new user. Uh, this is the same thing we're doing before in the control panel because it's a bit of a different screen so we'll add another user username is going to be uh... joey full name is joey uh... wheels and description is nothing and you can say password is 
just the word password which is an incredibly not secure password never use that and we say right here user must change password at next logon this is oftentimes used sort of uh, I guess it'd be in industry because if you create a new user account for someone who just came into the company you might assign them a default password but you don't want them using that so next time they log on they can change the password to whatever they want I'll leave it unchecked for now uh, and then we hit create and then it opens the same window in case you're doing you know a bulk ad and you want to create a ton of user accounts but we'll just close and as you can see our new user account has appeared so now we'll go to groups as you can see here there's all of these different groups and when we were in our users account section we could check the properties and as you remember we, we saw the member of so this user, the user, is a member of the administrators and the users. So if you come down to groups and you double click on administrators, you'll see that the users that are in that group are user, Nick, and administrator. So as it says right here, administrators have complete and unrestricted access to the computer slash domain. So these are the users who have control of absolutely everything these should always be limited you do not want everybody to have access to absolutely everything like this says the only users who should ever be in here are the users who are trusted and the users who absolutely need the administrator privileges uh, backup operators all this other stuff not very necessary right now the ones we want to kind of look at right away are administrators who's in there who doesn't need to be in there guests uh, you know who's in that group uh, power users there's nobody in there right now but you might want to be aware of the power users so um, as you see here power users are included for backwards compatibility and possesses limited administrative powers so you might not necessarily want a certain user to have those powers uh, remote desktop users uh, users who are granted the right to log on remotely if this computer has people logging on remotely obviously you want to control who those people are you want everybody to have access and finally users uh, these are this is just everybody right here and this NT authority stuff you can sort of ignore these are default Windows things that we will not talk about but let's just look at administrators we can go to properties and we can say add and one thing you always want to check is your object types so it's going to say built-in security principles and users and the location is on this single PC so we come here and it says enter the object names to select so what we can do is we can type in the name of a user which let's just say guest for example and we can say check names and on this computer that we're using right now it found the user guest so we can say OK and now that'll add guests to the administrator group but we don't want that so let's remove and hit OK the other way to do that is to actually come to the user right click on them and say member of and add and then we can check the object types make sure it's selecting the groups and then we can make it a member of the guests and we hit check name and there we go it finds the guests group on our PC and we can hit OK and we can apply that if we want but I don't want my user account to be a guest so we'll remove that and hit OK so just to sort of recap before I close this video out that's the very basic uh, user account settings we could either do it through our control panel under the manage account manage accounts option after we went to all the all control panel items because we didn't we didn't want it hidden in category view we want to see absolutely everything so we go to our user accounts we can make some changes from there or we can go to computer management and make all of our changes through here under the local users and groups which is the best most efficient way to get things done and if you're talking about cybersecurity and you're doing things in a limited amount of time you always want the most efficient way so you want to do it under computer management and I'm not sure if I already said this but computer management 
this local users and groups section is only available on Windows Professional and Windows Ultimate. It's not on Home Premium and it's not on Home Basic. On those two, you can only change things from the control panel. So that's why we installed Professional and Ultimate, along with a few other reasons, but we'll get around to those. That's it for the user accounts video. See you next time.